Hi, today I'd like to talk about recurring ear infections in kids. While these can happen at any time, we do tend to see an uptick, especially around this time of year. So when we're talking about ear infections, what specifically am I talking about? Well, I'm not talking about a swimmer's ear, which is more of the external portion of the ear, but I'm talking about a recurring middle ear infection, which is involving the space behind the eardrum itself. So what are those symptoms of an ear infection? Well, it typically is a constellation of these symptoms, so it doesn't have to be every single one of them, but they can include low-grade fever, increasing fussiness, poor sleep, change in appetite, and they can come along with a cough and a cold. So how do you know if your child does have an ear infection? Well, if those symptoms are ongoing or they become worse, many times we'll go seek out our pediatrician or primary care provider. And what they're gonna look for is to say, what does the eardrum look like? And does the eardrum look not only red, not only does it have fluid, but is there also pus and the eardrum looks like it's bulging out? At that point, frequently we'll prescribe antibiotics. So what can we do about it? Are there any factors that lead towards more ear infections? Well, there are a few. Smoke exposure is one of them. Being in daycare, which I think is a reality for many of us who work outside the home, as well as our the age of a child, and our anatomy. What happens if it feels like it's more than just a couple of ear infections and it feels like it's back to back to back to back? At that point, your pediatrician will likely refer to ENT. As an ear, nose, and throat surgeon here at St. Louis Children's, we'd be always happy to see you.